Okay, we're starting. Hello, everybody. It's Jennifer from The Works Personal Training. I am going to be talking about uh, how my week went last week. Week number one of Jennifer's transformation. <laughs> um, I have my notes here because I do have um, lots of things that I want to say, and I want to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, for those of you that are, you know, have been following along and are, are planning to do it with me, um, these are some important things that I find will help you get through itch the weeks. So let's start with my diet. Look at my notes. So the things that I found to be really, really um, helpful in keeping to my diet this week was being prepared. Uh, what is the saying? Prepare to uh, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. It's very, very true. I found that um, you know, making a lot, cooking all of my food Sunday night, and then um, having it there and ready to just you know take with me to work during the day was really super helpful. By the way, Taco is going to be making a, an appearance every now and again. I'm at home and not at the gym, and my dog is is very hyper and he's going to be running across the whole video the whole time. <laughs> so just ignore the dog, even though he's pretty awesome. Anyway, so um, definitely, definitely have your meals prepared. I steam asparagus. I cook my chicken. I make sure I have um, one container of yogurt for each day, which is uh, either Faye, Faye or Chobani 0% plain yogurt. Um, I buy five each week. I have them in the, in the fridge. I'm, my, he's licking my sweater. <laughs> okay. Um, so, you know, make sure you have your food to take with you. It, it really, really, really makes you stick to your plan a lot, lot e make, makes sticking to your plan a lot easier. Um, now, if you don't have your stuff with you, if by some, you know, chance you weren't prepared, uh, you can still get things out um, that are healthy and, and will enable you to stick to your diet. One of those things is uh, a salad with grilled chicken on it. You can get that anywhere. You really can. There's no excuse. Anywhere you go, you can tell them to make you a salad and put chicken on top. It's, it's definitely doable. Get balsamic vinegar. Um, one of my favorite dressings to make is balsamic vinegar, a teaspoon of mustard, and a packet of Splenda or Truvia or whatever um, sugar substitute you choose. Mix it up. And throw it on your salad. I've done it a bazillion times in a restaurant. People may look at you a little funny, but who, who gives a shit? You're, you're on a mission. So don't worry about what they're thinking. <laughs> so um, definitely, you know, your salads, your yogurts. Um, you can even throw a little bit of protein powder into your yogurt to make it a little bit more exciting. I find those things um, were really, really easy for me. So I would wake up every morning and I would have a half a cup of oats with half a, half a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, um, a scoop of protein powder, and a tablespoon of peanut butter. Now I would make, you know, I'd, I'd switch it up each day. I some days I'd put a tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa in there, cocoa powder. Some days I'd put a tablespoon of raisins. Uh, you know, you can really kind of put anything in there as long as it's lower on the sugar side or portion controlled, such as raisins. It's not low sugar, but if it's portion controlled, it's okay. Um, dried cherries, any anything you really want. Is it just make sure it's it's a serving size and not a serving size. So that would be my breakfast. A couple of hours later, a few hours later, I would always have about three to four ounces of grilled chicken that I would make at home, um, and about six to eight asparagus spears uh, steamed, also made at home. Um, a few hours later, I usually would have the same thing with a little bit of oatmeal, another half a cup of oatmeal. A few hours later, I would have my, my container of yogurt with a half a scoop of protein powder. Then I would end up usually working out, and I would then have another scoop of protein powder and water until I would get home. That would carry me over until I would get home and then I would have dinner. And dinner every night had carbs in it because I worked out at night. Uh, even if I didn't work out at night, it's, it's not such a terrible thing to have carbs at night provided you worked all day, you're still within your, your macro count and it's low glycemic carbs. Um, I am not a fan of if it fits your macros. I know that I'm probably gonna be crucified for, from some people that are watching this, but I do not believe that a calorie is a calorie is a calorie. At the end of the day, it is to an extent calories in versus calories out, but that's not the only thing involved. There's a the glycemic index of foods, a the thermic index of foods. Protein has a much higher thermic index than other foods and fats or carbohydrates, meaning it takes your body more calories and more energy to burn one gram of protein than it does a gram of fat or a gram of carbs. So there's that. Uh, also, the glycemic index of a carb is going to be treat, you know, it's, it, it means your body's going to treat a carb differently, a high carb differently than um, a lower GI carb. So if you're eating high GI carbs every all, all day long and um, not much protein and lots of fats, 
even if it's in your calorie range, your body's not going to treat it the same way. You're going to have a huge insulin response from the high GI carbs, which insulin is a fat storage hormone. So you get the idea of how it fitting your macros shouldn't, you know, is not going to make your pants fit your waistline. Just thought of that saying right now. Yes, you can use it. No problem. So there's that. Um, I also, I was taking 1,600 calories. I was doing the three carb, three carb meals a day. Even if it was at night and I didn't work out, I still would have a carb meal as long as it was low GI carbs. Um, and I didn't tell you what my dinner was. My dinner every night would be either my oatmeal pancakes, which is half a cup of oatmeal, half a cup of egg whites, half of an apple, half a teaspoon of baking powder, boom, in a blender, in a pan, done. Sometimes I would put um, a tablespoon of peanut butter on it. Um, usually if I worked out, I didn't because I don't want to have fats after my workout because it slows the absorption of your nutrients and you don't want that. So you don't want fibrous carbs or fats in a post-workout meal due to the fact that you want your nutrients to be absorbed right away. So 1,600 calories, it was five or six meals, three carb meals. That was basically what I ate most every day. On the weekends, I might vary it a little bit, but I, I'm not cheating yet because my metabolism is still not running and running and running yet. So I'm waiting until my metabolism starts running. I see a grand weight loss. Uh, then I might throw in a cheat meal each week, and my cheats will be fairly clean. It's not going to be that crazy. Um, I'm also at the same time trying to initiate balance in, in my diet and balance in my life, so I don't feel like I'm going to be you know, keeping a cheat, cheat, cheat day or a cheat, cheat, cheat meal, um, in the picture, because I feel like that's that for, for the type of person that I am, it's going to teach me the wrong thing. And it's going to teach me that, um, I have to deprive, deprive, deprive until I get that one meal and then I can go balls out. But I, you know, I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to appreciate healthier foods. Um, and then once in a while, if I feel like having something, then I'll have it. But I, I'm trying to break my craving for those types of foods that are, so that I'm generally just eating well all the time. And if I happen to have a craving here and there, which it'll, it'll hopefully will become only here and there, I'll have it. So that's my diet. Now training this week, um, training this week went, went really well, although I am actually really happy that I started slow because now I want more. Um, I, I found that starting with just a little bit, uh, was it made me kind of I almost wanted to do more at the end of the week because um, it, you know I was I was being very conservative and that's a good thing it didn't I, I wasn't tired at the end of the week I didn't feel like um, I had done too much and I, I I'm not dreading the gym next week I'm already putting my plan together for the week I'll be doing it tonight um, finishing it up tonight after after this video and I'm excited to get to it and I, I'm thinking I'm going to add a, a couple minutes of cardio, you know, I'm ready to do this. I'm still going to be taking it conservatively, you know, my mind says, oh, let's add another, you know, 15 minutes of cardio a day and also another day a week. I'm not going to do that. I'll probably, um, which I'll be talking about this tomorrow in my what I'm doing next week video, um, I'm probably just going to add about five minutes um, to one or two of the days and I'll add a day. Um, I'm thinking about maybe just possibly adding a day and not adding any time to the cardio. Um, I also originally was going to uh, change the program fully uh, for my lifting. I don't think I'm going to do that either. I think I'm just going to either maybe increase the sets or just try to go up and wait. So I'm going to basically keep the same vein of training, um, and, and I'm really looking forward to it. And that was a benefit for, of not starting with too much. So big suggestion take it slow. Take it slow in the first few weeks. It's going to create a habit. It takes 21 days to create a habit. So when you're trying to create a habit, you want, to be it, you want it to be as pleasant as possible so that you stick to it. Otherwise, you're not going to want to stick to it. You're never going to make it through that 21 days, and your brain isn't going to learn how to get, make a schedule out of your, you know, creating this new habit. Um, another fun fact about you know, creating a habit and creating a schedule is you actually, you actually form nerve pathways in your brain when you repeat something over and over and over, and it's, you you do change the the brain chemistry of your of, of your brain. So by you know making sure that your body does something with repetition, such as working out and you know keeping to a diet, you actually create nerve pathways in the brain that help you to stick to it. So that's another thing. Um, that you you need to think about when you're when you're doing all of this why why it's really important to be consistent especially in the beginning um so you can create the it's it's easier to create the habit 
Um, so yeah, so next week, the, I'm, I'm looking forward to the training. It's going to be kind of a lot of the same thing, but I'll talk more about that tomorrow. What's next on my list? I already went over that. Oh, I actually didn't really tell you what the training was. I kind of did at the beginning of the week, but I'll just go over that again uh, really quickly. I did three days of cardio, 20 to 30 minutes. I did three days of lifting. I did cardio Monday, uh, a push workout on Tuesday, which is chest, shoulders, and tries. I did abs with that as well. Wednesday, I did uh, 30 minutes of cardio. Thursday, I did a, yeah, Thursday, I did a leg workout. Uh, which actually went well. You know, it was very, very mild. I think I did four exercises, three sets, four sets each. Not a lot. Um, and Friday, I did more cardio, another 20 minutes of HIIT training. And Saturday, I did my pull workout, which was back and buys and abs. So it, it, it was really not a ton, but I feel good. I feel like I worked out. I feel a little bit tighter. Um, I'll be posting up progress measurements and pictures next at the end of next week. One week is not enough time. I think I'm going to, I'm going to wait till the end of next week and probably do it every two or three weeks. Uh, so yeah, so I feel good. Um, I'm excited to work out next week and, uh, it went well. Notes, notes, notes. I think that's really it. That's really, um, that's how the week went. I know I just said a lot and hopefully you were able to follow through. Maybe in the future I'll split, uh, I'll split my end of week wrap up videos into three different parts: motivation, diet, and training. We'll see. This is this is a work in progress in many ways. <laughs> so, hope you're able to follow along. If you have any comments or if you have any questions, um, I love to talk. So, um, please post them in the comment box, and I will make a video about it because I just like doing this and want to help people. So, um, and also if you're in the New York, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you're in the New York metro area and you want to train with myself or one of the trainers at the Works Personal Training Studio, we're located in Chelsea um, on 19th Street between 6th and 7th. We are open pretty much all day long. We're open every day. Uh, <laughs> so you can call us at 646-755-8919 uh, or you can email me at jsearls at theworkspersonaltraining.com. Uh, and I will be happy to set you up with one of the trainers or possibly myself. And we can transform together. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for listening. Again, any questions, leave them in the box below. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will be back tomorrow. Later. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>